People always ask me, when did you start collecting? And I'm going to tell them the best year in Jordan Brand's history, 2006. So in peak Air Force One era, when I say peak Air Force One era, this was peak creativity of the Air Force One. The Air Force One was on top of the world. It is embedded in my head at this point. The Jordan releases that year was everything. Let's get it to 2006. Start off with the year with the Candy Games getting his first retro and also a top 10 Jordan 14, the UNC. It needs a retro. Arguably in the first pack in Jordan brand history, the DMP. OG Collectors, the 21 released this year, and the Grail, the Red Suede. I need these and they need a retro now. It was the first year of the Champ Rays and the retro that came out a few weeks ago don't deserve what it's getting. OG returns in a new form with the lines going through it. I always like these better than the OG. Also got these lows that have never been seen again. Black 21s, underrated. For me, the best not OG colorway 7, the Pacific Flinch. Y'all did the 2021 so bogus. Cardinals made his retro for the first time. Tor Yellows and Black Cats back to back. The Tor Yellows have yet to be retro. The week after we got pure monies. The cool great colorway of the 21s was underrated. Top 10 Jordan 4 that has yet to been retro to Miss Blues. Do you see that price? 125. When the 7 was love, the citrus was everything. 21 lows underrated. Or as Blackman Fire Red 4s. UNC 5s that have yet to be retro. The Thunders and the Lightnings for the first time in history. I say the hype for this was so real. It just had to be the iconic military blues and green beans dropped for the first time. Yes, the green beans were very sought out the back then. Grapes got his first retro since 1990. Self's underrated. Olives, a top five non-OG colorway of all time that has yet to be retro. Rumors to come out next year though. We close the year with the burgundies that's coming out in a few weeks. 2006 was in its duff 